good evening everyone. <laughs> uh, tonight I want to talk about QuantumScape, ticker symbol QS, versus Solid Power, ticker symbol SLDP. And I want to, first if you don't know what they are, they're two companies that are, uh, you know, they're replacing the lithium-ion battery with a solid-state battery for EVs and um, it could be for your smartphones, uh, a plethora of things, you know. Uh, a solid-state battery uses a solid electrolyte to regulate the lithium ions instead of a liquid one. So it's solid instead of liquid. It has its advantages over the liquid. The main difference between a lithium ion battery and a solid state battery lies within the electrolyte. While lithium ion batteries and most other batteries use a liquid electrolyte, solid state batteries use a solid electrolyte. And basically the both companies, Solid Power and QuantumScape, focus on the development and commercialization of all solid state battery cells and solid electrolyte materials for the battery-powered electric vehicle market, uh, you know. And like I said, for it could be used for other phones and, you know, it could be very revolutionary. Um, really, I'm, the reason why I'm making this video is because I just have a question, really, for the EV enthusiasts. Uh, I just want to know why QuantumScape is so... It's like the beloved darling, and solid power is like the redheaded stepchild. <laughs> um, the market cap for QuantumScape is close to seven billion, and the market cap for solid power is one billion. And that right there would I I would think solid power should you know, have a lead on QuantumScape, and what else? Their partnership, yeah, QuantumScape partners with Volkswagen, all right, that's nice, but Solid Power also partners with BMW and Ford, so, I don't know, um... But let me leave, for the people that don't know about, if, if you've never heard of these companies, let me just read a little bit more about what they do. Conventional lithium ion batteries are built on liquid battery chemistry. That is, they comprise a solid cathode and anoid with a liquid electrolyte solution connecting the two. These batteries have worked wonders for years, but due to the physical constraints of liquid electrolytes, they're now reaching their limit in terms of energy cell density. This means that if we want our devices to last longer and charge faster, we need a fundamentally different battery. This is where the solid state batteries come in. And take the liquid electrolyte solution in conventional batteries, compress it into a solid, create a small hyper compact solid battery that, because it has zero wasted space, lasts far longer and charges far faster. Of course, the implications of solid state chemistry are huge. Solid state batteries could be the key to making our phones sustain power for days. They'll enable our smartwatches to fully charge in seconds. And yes, they'll allow electric cars to drive for thousands of miles without needing to recharge. That's why solid state batteries are dubbed by insiders as forever batteries. And these forever batteries are the critical technology needed to propel the EV revolution into its next phase. And that's from Yahoo Finance. But, yeah, I was just wondering why QuantumScape, because, you know, I've been following these companies for a long time. I see the volume on uh, QuantumScape is always in the, like, millions, and the volume for solid power is, like, 300,000. <laughs> so, I just don't know why, I guess. Um... And QuantumScape, when it first listed, it was, it shot up to like, what was the price? $175, I believe. I mean, Solid Power came out 
via a SPAC, so I don't know, it might be able to run up soon, have a run up like that. Maybe it's just not known by investors too much, but I just want your thoughts on QuantumScape versus Solid Power. Why is QuantumScape the the lovely bell of the ball and Solid Power is not? <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I'm really asking. I'm not saying any of this facetiously. I'm because I want to know, like, what makes because even too, um, even admittedly, QuantumScape admitted that their rival Solid Power is much further along in development than them. So again, why is QuantumScape always getting the hype and has the more volume? So I'd love to know. So leave a comment. So, and let's hope we have a good trading week this week. So take care. Okay. Bye-bye, guys.